friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. And I do wanna welcome uh, some new subscribers I've noticed the last couple of weeks. So I just wanna say welcome, I'm Holly, and I hope that you enjoy the content that you're finding here on my channel. And leave a comment down below if you are a new subscriber, I would love to get to know you better. And today I'm sharing with you our monthly group collaboration video. So the first Sunday of every month, as you know, we get to share a themed video. This one for October will either be a Halloween treat or a fall treat or both. So I hope that you enjoy what you will find here. I think you're gonna find some great ideas. And I'm gonna leave the playlist down below in the description box. So please be sure to check that out. Uh, as always, when you go and look at that playlist it, and you like and subscribe and comment to the videos, that helps everyone's channels out and we absolutely appreciate you doing that. It is being hosted by Melissa at I'm Merely Melissa and Christy at Christy's Farmhouse. These are two of the sweetest women you will ever meet. I absolutely enjoy doing collabs with them and you will find lots of great content on both of their channels. They have food content, grocery hauls, what I cooked for dinner type videos, lifestyle videos, shopping, all sorts of content. So please be sure to go and check it out. I'm going to leave their links down below in the description box along with that playlist. Please be sure to go and check that out. And now I'm gonna show you what it is I made for this collaboration. And I hope that you enjoy the video and I hope that everyone is having a great day. This first treat that I'm sharing is a Halloween treat. Uh, we don't usually celebrate Halloween, but I thought this was a cute idea that kids would probably like. And it's not really a recipe. Uh, the actual link I'm going to leave down below where I got the idea for has a recipe to make this. But I'm going the simple route, and I'm just going to use a boxed cake mix. So I'm just going to use all the ingredients that I need for this. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. And I will leave the link down below, like I said, for the actual recipe if you want to make it from scratch, including the frosting. <laughs> so I'm using some chocolate frosting and some chocolate sprinkles with also some black licorice for, uh, this is going to be a spider cupcake. So you need about eight of these for each cupcake and some just googly eyes. Uh, those are the little candy eyes that you can get at Walmart and any type would do you can even just uh, put it you know with the frosting on the cake but you'll need some cupcake liners and all I had were the aluminum ones and if you have like black cupcake liners that would work perfectly or some type of Halloween ones would work great for this so very simple and easy to put together and I'm gonna show you how to do that the first step is to mix up your cake mix according to the box directions and then line your cupcake pan with some liners. Just fill those up, put that in the oven according to the directions on the box. Once they come out, then let these cool completely before we go on to the next step. And now to make these look like little spiders, you will take the sprinkles and put those in a little bowl and the same with the licorice you want to make sure you cut those into small pieces and ice in the cupcakes and you want to try to get that as smooth as you can and you don't have to put a ton of it on then just dip it into the sprinkles while before that icing starts to set up and I do one at a time and just start to put the googly eyes on and those like I said are candy uh, pieces then take a skewer or a toothpick and you want to make a hole into the cupcake and just make it as deep as you can so that way you can get that licorice in there so that way it'll stay into the cupcake and you just continue to do that you want to put about four on each side Thank you. 
and I thought the licorice might have been too long so I just trimmed it off just a little bit uh, but that's up to you how long you want those little uh, legs to be and just continue to do that with the rest of the cupcakes for however many you want to do and like I said simple easy little uh, treat to put together I think kids will enjoy this one and I really do wish I would have had the black cupcake liners that really would have looked better I think but this is just an idea that you can do but if you have kids I think this would be cute for Halloween or anytime and this next treat is a butter pecan cookie and it is great really any time but fall time I think is a great time to have anything with pecans in it so this one's very simple very easy to make you will need one cup of butter melted two and a half cups of all-purpose flour one cup of brown sugar and I'm using light brown sugar half a cup of granulated sugar and some pecan pieces you need one and a half cups and just roughly chopped and this is optional this is the toffee bits and you it would be a half a cup if you want to add these and these are really good I think they complement this cookie really well one and a half teaspoons of vanilla you will need one teaspoon of cinnamon one teaspoon of baking soda a half a teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of cornstarch also two eggs and I'm going to show you really quick how easy this is to put together so the first thing you need to do is melt the butter and put that into a mixing bowl then add the brown sugar the granulated sugar and then you will mix this up until this becomes uh, light and fluffy and you want the consistency to be smooth add the eggs and then add the vanilla and you want to mix this until everything is fully incorporated and before I add the flour to that mixture I want to add these ingredients to the flour and just kind of mix it up but I feel like this helps to get this mixed in with the flour a little bit better than just adding it to the mixer um, separately so I just kind of whisk it in and I just feel like it gets in there so that way all that baking powder and baking soda and stuff gets blended well so I gradually add in the flour to the wet mixture and you will just continue to do that until you get to the end and you don't have any more flour left now add the pecans in and you do want to mix it just a little bit not to where they get ground up or anything you just kind of want to mix it in and have that fully incorporated then add those toffee bits if you're going to add them you don't have to uh, but like I said I do feel like it does add something to this cookie so you just mix it really quick just so everything gets blended and it's equally uh, distributed throughout that batter now take that batter and put this in the refrigerator for at least 45 minutes because this needs to set up just a little bit so that way when you go to bake these they don't spread too much now make sure to leave enough space in between the cookies so that way uh, it has enough room for the cookies to spread when they do bake and I'm just going to continue to roll these and put those on the cookie sheet I'll probably get about six of them and put this in the oven on 350 for about anywhere between 11 and 14 minutes so it will be a softer type cookie uh, the edges should be browned and then it's kind of a chewy sort of cookie I guess so once they come out they're gonna be a little puffy and then they will deflate in the middle uh, as they cool off so I will show you that once these come out of the oven 
and when they came out of the oven they were puffy and they stayed puffy so as far as them deflating mine did not I don't know if because they were larger cookies but I, I didn't mind them like this but it does say in the recipe that you can take a spoon if you want them to be flatter uh, to kind of do that but these were fine tasted fine so that would be completely up to you but as far as cookie goes this was a good one kind of reminds me of a shortbread cookie a little bit not overly sweet or anything and I could also taste a little bit of the cinnamon flavor in this so that was really nice uh, with this cookie as well but please don't forget to check the playlist down below in the description box along with Melissa and Christy's channels I hope that you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're interested in seeing more like it please click that subscribe button and the notification bell that will notify you when I post new videos hope everyone has a blessed day thank y'all so much for watching God bless y'all.